So talking about diesel fuel contamination, um, you know, what is it? What happens when this stuff you know, happens to your diesel? Okay, so contamination is a couple different things. It can be from water, can be from dirt and other debris. Um, those, it could be from stray chemicals possibly too, but those can cause other things to happen. So when you have water in the fuel, you get microorganisms in the fuel and all these harmful uh, particular Particles can contaminate your fuel and lead to severe damage of the fuel system. Right. So all of these are bad. and something that you most definitely do not want. Um, and some symptoms of the bad or contaminated diesel fuel, um, some things that can happen to your vehicle um, it can affect your performance, loss of um, acceleration, random changes in speed and excessive sputtering. Um, really, these are just indicators that right. your diesel's not working as it should or burning as clearly as it should. Um, a lot of times if you get water in the fuel and it goes past the fuel water separator, you actually get like surges where the engine will actually it'd be trying to run on water and it really can't. So it'll just kind of get sluggish and all of a sudden it'll get back to diesel and get kind of surge in power again. Right. And, and you'll see, uh, see it in the exhaust side too. Yeah. Cause you can kind of see the water coming out as smoke. Oh. And even, you know, diesel fuel in general can go bad as, you know, say what, 30 days? 30 days, yeah. So if it's not treated properly, uh, it actually goes bad as quick as gasoline. We just don't notice the performance degradation quite as fast. It oxidizes and therefore it just doesn't burn as cleanly as, as efficiently. 